Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and we're going to start today with an apology to uh, Caleb Siegel, the incredible eight-year-old who created our puzzle for yesterday um, and who literally beat me completely because not only did I struggle during the puzzle and have to backtrack considerably on a wrong well, I made, the, I made the right deduction and then put in the wrong um, markings, and that really messed me up. But I still got the puzzle wrong in the end. As several people pointed out in the comments, this was the grid I had at the end. And given that the central grey area is meant to be a magic square, it's not very magic for the top row to add up to 23, the next one to add up to the correct 15, and the next one to add up to... Seven. That is a complete failure in a magic square. And my failure was that I hadn't recognised that this deadly pattern of ones and nines, which would normally be deadly, even in a sandwich Sudoku, where one and nine are the crust, that would normally be a deadly uh, pattern. But that was resolved by the magic square. And if we correct that to one and nine that way round, and one and nine that way round, this was Caleb's solution to his perfectly good puzzle which I botched badly. Some of the comments, these now, as you can see, all add up to 15, including the diagonals and the downs. So that was the right solution. Um, well done, Caleb. You beat me completely. Some, some of the comments suggested it was Caleb 1, Mark 0. And frankly, it was a comfortable 2-0 win, as far as I can see, to Caleb. So hats off to him for that. Now, hang on one second. Here we go. I'd meant to have this ready. This was the um, Modern Art Sudoku pack by members of the Discord server and um, for the, that they created as the response to this November puzzle prompt. And what I thought we'd have a go at today is the first puzzle in, in the booklet, which was this one, Banksy Doku by Olima. Now, it should be no surprise to us that Olima is creating arty sudoku because uh i think he had or well, maybe banks he had two puzzles in the uh book did olima have two let's just check that no olima had one but two of the works were about banksy anyway this one is a representation of girl with balloon um, which became more famous when it sold at auction for some um hundreds of thousands as far as I remember and as soon as the hammer went down um, the artwork got shredded because of a shredder hidden in the frame and you can see this halfway through with the shredded bits of paper of the picture of the girl with the balloon um, and you know the buyer was either massively ripped off or brilliantly brought into the publicity stunt. So he had an empty frame at the end of it and some shredded paper, which was probably worth more than it was even before the hammer went down. Just an astonishing bit of uh, subversion of the art world, which is what Banksy's all about. Um, anyway, luckily, Olima, who I was going to say created that incredible picture you may remember from six months ago of... Uh, Simon in Thermo Sudoku has created his own version of this artwork. So let's go to it in the software. Um, sorry, that's... There we go. So I've set it up in the software. This is a Thermo and Killer Sudoku this time. So the rules are these. Um, along thermometers, numbers must increase from the bulb to the end. And in the cages, obviously, they they all add up to the number. Oh, look, that 42 cage is pretty big. So those eight digits will add up to 42 and must contain no repeats. So there's just four cages. I think we can ignore the colouring. That's just for the art. Actually, it would have been better coloured in uh, grey or brown for the frame, but I've gone for green just for the for a bit of distinction here. Um, so, normal Sudoku rules, thermos, killers, that's it. Do have a go on the link under the video, and I'm going to have a go now and see how we get on. Um, let's get cracking. So, a 23 cage. I can use that for a... Uh, not like that. I can use that for a start. 986. 
The seven cage can't be six one, so it's two five or three four. Now the 42 cage, it is eight cells, and that means it's all of the numbers except three, which I know because 45 is the sum of one to nine. So I deduct the one number that's not in this cage. Therefore, three isn't in it. And how does that help me? Uh, it means in row one, three must be in one of those cells. That's not all that thrilling. If it was there, that would tell me about this seven cage. No, I don't really know what that's telling me. This is a five cell 19 cage. Even a nine can be in that though. So there's really not a lot to go on from the killer cages. Um, so maybe the thermos are more helpful, but none of these thermos are as long as even five cells. Maybe it's the girl is more helpful than I realized. We've got... Um, yeah, this cell, there must be one, two, three, four. No, they don't even have to be different numbers bigger than that, because that could be the same as that. And that could be the same. I don't know. I don't know what this is telling us at all. Right, 19 cage. And these, okay, let's have a look at box eight. That's more useful. Okay, and the the insightful question is where can one go in box eight and it can never go on a thermo except on the bulb there is no bulb in here but there are eight cells on the thermo so that must be a one which seems the smallest gain possible but where can two be well it can't be on the third or fourth cell of a thermo so it must be in this row that means there must be a one up in this row. So that must be in one of those cells. The two's not there. Um, this isn't a lot of help, frankly, yet. These all have to be fairly small to make 19. I mean, apart from one of them, maybe. But that's what you'd expect from numbers at the beginning of a thermo. So nine must be in one of those two cells. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I've created a puzzle which had some similarities to this before myself. So, right, what are these five cells? They can't be higher than eight because none of them are on the end. What do I mean by that? None of them can be nine because nine has to be at the end of a thermo if it's on it but they have to be at least three because they're all on the third cell of a, of a thermo. So they are from three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are from two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These must be from one, two, three, four, five, and six to stay smaller than these. Now, those six numbers add up to 21, and we want five of them to add up to 19. So the one we, we take out is the difference between 21 and 19 we take out two. So that is a one, three, four, five, six quintuple. Uh, that means this isn't six. Now, what does that mean here? We know one of the numbers is two. We now know there can't be a three in the next row because the two has to go above the one. And there couldn't be a three because there's no two up there. So there's no three in that row. Uh, now that's not so helpful down here because we don't know that there's a three here. If we did, we could make this three, five, six, seven, eight, but that's not quite as helpful. Now we do know that these five numbers are all bigger than three. So they're from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we also know that's not a one. So that's not a two. That's not a three. That one's not four. Are we learning anything else? We've got a two, four, five, six, seven quintuple. And in this cell, they see all of those five digits and eight, nine. So that one is one or three. It's not quite as helpful as I was hoping. Maybe I need to look at the girl's head, which can't be one. Can it be? Yeah, it could be all the way up to six. This goes up to seven as a possibility. This one could be anything higher than that. There's a quite a lot of possible. So could this, annoyingly. And this. 
This one can't be as much as nine because it's got one bigger number. Hmm. And the balloon is a low number two. Okay, one, three, four, five, six. That can't be eight or nine because they're in the box. So that's two or seven. But these are from two, seven, eight, and nine, and I don't know much about them. Wow, this is quite tough. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven. The others in the row are from one, three, eight, and nine. But these are less constrained. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a set of six. Right, six, eight, nine here. So if that was three, this would be two, five. No, and that's not telling me anything. Now, there's no three in those cells, so that could be three, or that could be three. And again, if that was three, this is two, five. Six, eight, nine, I don't know what that's telling me. Have I got some elaborate sex tuple or something here? Doesn't look like it. Whew. Okay, this is difficult. Now, six, eight, nine. Maybe I should have taken a rest, which was what some people were suggesting after the Caleb problem. Maybe I shouldn't be still trying to solve puzzles, but uh, I don't think it affects me much. I've just always not been brilliant. Now, right, where's two? in this box? That is a good question. It's not there because that's the third cell of a thermo. And they, we don't seem to have allowed it to be anywhere else because that has to be at least two. So these all have to be higher. And we worked out it wasn't in that group. So two is here. What a bizarre conclusion. Um, so this isn't two. Aha! And that was one of the two possibilities for two in this box. So two in box eight is there. One is there. That's not one now. So these are now higher by a couple of digits than previously known. I've got a one in the corner that I want to get rid of there. One, two. I mean, it seems such a small gain in some ways. I'm surprised it even gave me two more numbers. Now, I could take one out of those. Yes, I can take two out of these, of course. And therefore, these can't... Ah, yes, so these are now four, five, six, and seven. No, oh, no, so they just can't have three or four higher than them, but... Um, sorry, let me try and make sure they all say five, six, seven, eight. Are they? Yeah, there are five, six, seven, eight quadruple. So this one must be the three or four. This is now a six, eight, seven, nine quadruple at the bottom and the highest of the shredded paper bits. Therefore, this is not six, seven, eight or nine. And now suddenly the only position for nine in box eight is there. I mean, I'm just not seeing any of these steps coming. The only position for three is there. Um, right, nine is there. So nine in the middle box is in one of these cells now. And that means this is not nine and that's not nine. So we're getting this six, eight, nine combo narrowed, narrowed down. Ooh, three, four, five, six. So that could still be anything. Ah, right. The nine at the bottom means those aren't nine. And therefore, none of these... Oh, yes, the eight in this row can't be below those ones, which is also going to mean the seven can't be below those, and the six can't be below those. So in fact, we're going to get this whole thermo here. Eight, seven six because you just couldn't put a six on one of those or it wouldn't force a nine onto the end of its thermo clashing with that one so now that's not a seven which means that's not a six and that's not a five now we've got a four or five pair so that's the only place six can go i think with these thermos 
we've almost got it to the point where they go up one at a time. Um, yeah, one of these has to be a five, which needs four above it and three above it. So this one has to have five and four. These two aren't five. Those two aren't four. That's not a six. Does that have to be a seven? Yes, because whichever of these is seven takes the eight. And that seven, which now comes into this box, makes that a five, makes this a seven, eight. Oh my goodness, suddenly we're finishing off these thermos. Didn't expect that. What a clever puzzle. Four, three, five, and six. And all of these paper shredding thermos are done. Now, that can't be eight. I mean, I'm not even certain how much this is going to help. Ah, oh, four, five, six come out of there. This can't... Yes, it still can be nine. Nonsense. Four. That can't be four, so that can't be five. This can't be four, five, or six. That is three or seven. Now, if it's three, it just forces a two there. But if it was seven... That would force this to be 8, this to be 9. No, much more importantly, those three can't all be higher than 7 and be different. So it's not a 7, it's a 3. That does force a 2 onto the head. 3, 2, 4, 1, 6. This is... Oh, lovely. 3, 2, 4, 1, 6 in the box. 7, 8, 9. This is a naked single. 4 or 3 there. Can't be 2. 1, 2 or 3 on the balloon. Five, two, four, one, six, three. So these are a seven, eight, nine combination. So that's not six. Uh, ah, we've got a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple in the row. So five's over here somewhere. Three's over here. Um, Six, five, eight, nine, three, two. No, it's not necessarily up there. Oh, six, seven, eight, four must be in one of these, five in one of these. Ah, oh, the 42 cage, I'd forgotten that again. Right, there's no three in it. So the three in the top row is in the top box. One of those has to be a three. This is, in fact, a one, four, three triple. These are from seven, eight, nine. That's not very useful. Hmm. Oh, this can't be seven because of the seven below it. Um, ah, and that gives us a six, eight pair. Good grief. Brilliant. So seven and nine pair. That makes this one an eight. That means that up there is a nine. We can take nine out of those two. That gives us a nine, seven in the middle. The central box is done. One, three, four. This is a five, six pair. Didn't solve much outside it. This isn't an eight now. Ah, oh, still a useless triple that we can't resolve. Two, seven, nine, six, eight. So five and three. Right, that's not a two. So that's not a five. That's not actually very helpful. Three, four, five, seven, two, nine. That's one, six, or eight. Now these are all different. This one. No, all I know is it has to be this. No, it's not the same as one of those. This actually is one of the out. That has to be the same as that. Which makes it either a two, a nine, or a one, three, or four. Um, because those are the numbers that appear as possibles there. Feel very close now. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 
This 689 triple is annoying. So we've done the 19 cage, we've done the 23, we've narrowed this down. Aha! We can narrow it down even better. If that cell has to contain a 3 or a 4, these two can't contain a 3 and a 4. So we now know they are a 2-5 pair. Wow, that's really neat stuff again. I mean, this is high standard of compiling. 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. So the 7 in this column, yep, we can do that. Actually, I could have done that ages ago because it was never in the 7 cage, but that has helped me spot it. Now, 3, 1, 4 is a triple down there. Not a useless chocolate teapot style triple at all. We can indeed fill it in. And suddenly the bottom rows are coming together. Well, a couple of pairs on the left, but hopefully we'll sort them out with the 42 cage in due course. That's now a 7. They aren't. The one on the end is not a two. In fact, two in row six must be there. Um, two in the box six must be there. Three, eight, five, two, five, six, seven, eight, two. Ah, that can't be nine. So the nine in column seven is there. Yeah, this is either one, three, or four. It has been for a while. I thought about filling that in earlier. Um, seven is confined to one of those. Now, what about the 42 cage? We've had eight, nine, seven. So this can't be two or six either. It can't be three because that's not in the cage. It's one, four, or five. That has to be the same as this one. So it's actually one or four not five, which is in the box and column. And therefore that, because that and that are one or four, this one has to be the same. It can't be a three. And we can suddenly place the three in column six. One on the balloon, suitably. That makes this a four for four in that pair, that group we were talking about. This isn't a one now. In fact, that is a four because that's the only place it can go in the box. One and three. Now, amazingly, that 69 triple, sorry, that 689 triple making 23 is the last thing to resolve in that box, which I had assumed it would almost be the first three digits in the grid. And we're well into the last half of the digits in the grid and I haven't been able to finish them off. Um, Right, that's a 1. So the 42 cage, 19784 place. There's no 3. 2 has to be here, 5 here, and 6 here. That finishes that killer cage. 3 goes here in the end. That fixes an 83 pair, which sorts out that as a 9. Now I can do the 23 cage. And we've got 6, 7, and 4 to place there. That puts an eight as my last thermo digit. Just classic Sudoku from here on. Nine and one down there. Oh, I felt a bit more alive to things today, thank goodness. And as I say that, you're probably looking at some error in the grid going, you really are a moron. But I hope not today. Anyway, there we go. That's my solution. Let's, I mean, I did check yesterday after the puzzle, but it wasn't checking for magic squares. It was just checking for basic Sudoku rules, which is what happens in our software. And that puzzle is done. That is a lovely, lovely, um, well, I mean, it's a work of art in its own right. Never mind what it's copying, what, where it's uh, art imitating art. It was really a pretty puzzle. Thank you very much to Oli Ma, to the guys on Discord who, uh, suggested and selected the puzzle, different groups, no doubt. And um, thank you very much for watching, as always. My apologies again to Caleb. My thanks to Oli Ma. My thanks to you if you subscribe. Have a look on Patreon as well for that modern art pack, for the Tracking the Cryptid Hunt, for a solve I did of the Times' vicious monthly cryptic crossword. Um, Simon's also tweeted a uh, reaction board. So... 
you could carry that around with you and play yourself bobbins anytime you feel down. I mean, bobbins is what I need to say after yesterday's fiasco. But uh, hopefully back on the horse at this point. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. And bye for now.